Safety in Baton Rouge is raising some eyebrows, but is the problem the crime or the perception? Here's our Lester Dewey with new reporting tonight. This new public opinion poll on public safety in Baton Rouge obtained by WFB tries to paint a picture of what some citizens think about crime in Baton Rouge. It was commissioned by a group of anonymous business owners in the parish. Attorney Richard Sprinkle is their spokesperson. Rather than hearing what was being spoken about in the media, these folks just wanted to get an honest opinion of what their customers, what the local business people, uh, what the local residents actually thought about what was going on. The survey talked to about 540 people across the parish. They knew they were trying to get as, as diverse a sample as possible. Asking for opinions on crime with questions like, do you feel the level of crime in Baton Rouge is too high? Overall, the people who answered the survey believe crime is a major issue and leaders aren't doing enough to address it. But is that the reality or just perception? According to data from Baton Rouge police, homicides are on the decline. So far this year, there have been 59 homicides, and some of those were justifiable. Here's Mayor Sharon Weston Broom talking about crime rates earlier this week. Last year, we saw a 23% decrease in homicides in East Baton Rouge Parish. And so far this year, we are on track for another 20% decline. Non-fatal shooting incidents and victims are also down by 20%. What's your main takeaway from this poll about how people feel about the crime? Folks don't really feel that the trajectory is going in the right direction. They feel that crime is expanding geographically in the parish. They feel that crime <clears throat> is, is on the rise, even though uh, certain aspects like homicides are down this year. Other aspects are, are seem to be going up. Mayor Broom believes much of the violent crime is retaliatory and believes you should still feel safe in Baton Rouge. I feel safe and mostly all the people that I talk to who are in my circle, who I connect to, even people I talk to on the street, people feel safe. People are going places, they are living their lives, and they are alert as they do this. Anyone can look up the latest crime data on the city's website, and for a closer look at the results of the survey, you can head to our 9 News app. In Baton Rouge, Lester Dewey, WFB 9 News. The Baton Rouge